The Airbus A321neo, an aircraft developed in the early 2000s to provide a comfortable and modern experience all while promising better range and increased fuel efficiency. Legacy carrier United Airlines has just entered their new A321s into commercial service. As formally stated by Airbus, the Chicago-based carrier ordered 70 A321neo aircraft in June of 2021, which went alongside their already existing order of 50 A321 XLR planes. Standing for extra long range, the XLR variant of the A321 can fly with a range of up to 8,700 kilometers, which translates to about 4,700 nautical miles in an all-economy configuration. This statistic beats that of the A321neo, which has a range of roughly 7,800 kilometers or 4,000 nautical miles. Although the XLR type has not officially entered service, the aircraft has undergone testing of its capabilities. The A321 XLR was designed to push the limits of the narrowbody airframe and provide low capacity service to distant destinations. The reason for this is the aircraft's extra large fuel tanks, which can hold a fuel capacity of up to 12,900 liters or roughly 3,400 gallons. Because of this, the jet's landing gear had to be strengthened in order to compensate for this major addition to the aircraft's weight. Although the extra fuel does seem costly in some cases, the aircraft type has been created with a new engine option of that on the NEO aircraft, providing a more fuel-efficient standard. On November 30th of 2023, United Airlines operated their first revenue flight on their new A321neo, registered November 44501. The occasion was given the flight number UA321 and flew from Houston IAH to Chicago ORD. In addition to simply being the first new Airbus aircraft in its fleet since 2002, United Airlines has managed to create their most state-of-the-art cabin for the A321neo. This includes 4K in-flight entertainment screens and various other comforts such as self-serve snack bars, high-speed Wi-Fi, and even Bluetooth connectivity. As for its services, the aircraft will be based out of Chicago O'Hare International and already has many set routes for its future. By February of 2024, two of the new aircraft will be seen flying to and from these airports on 66 weekly flights. Orlando's Mike Charlie Oscar, Las Vegas's Lima Alpha Sierra, Fort Lauderdale's Foxtrot Lima Lima, Phoenix's Papa Hotel X-Ray, and finally Fort Myers' Romeo Sierra Whiskey. As you may have noticed, many of these routes have been previously operated on both of the Boeing 757 variants of which United currently possess. As I mentioned earlier, the A321neo will be a major accomplishment for United and will provide efficient fuel usage along with a pleasant client experience. But what are the side effects of such an achievement? The true purpose of receiving the A321neo aircraft is not its fuel efficiency, range, or capacity, but more rather its spot in United's fleet, for this spot will be taken rather than created. United Airlines has been trying to find a suitable replacement for their aging Boeing 757 aircraft, and they have chosen their new NEOs and XLRs to get the job done. Starting operations in the year of 1983, the Boeing 757 has come a long way and has left an honorable trail of history with it. With the recognizable nickname the Flying Pencil, the aircraft has been enjoyed by both passengers and crew, with pilots expressing their appreciation for the aircraft and the way it flies. The retirement of such a distinguished aircraft does upset many, and it will be dearly missed, for similar to the 747, the 757 was not just another plane, it was simply a classic, and classics are always hard to let go of. But rest assured, the 757 isn't gone yet. Because of airlines like Delta, Condor, and various cargo airlines, the legacy of the Boeing 757 aircraft is nowhere near complete. Back to the A321neo, United has chosen the Pratt & Whitney GTF engine for its new planes. United's selection represents a continuation of the two companies' shared history, as well as a significant step towards increasingly sustainable aviation, quoted Rick Durlow, Pratt & Whitney's president of commercial engines. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. It's obvious that United has some big plans for both the NEO and XLR types, and has put a lot of faith into these ultra-modern and fuel-efficient airliners. Airliners that are foreseen to extend and complement the legacy carrier's presence in both the United States and beyond. So what do you think? Are you upset to see the 757 be retired, or do you think it's time to move on? Comment your answer below, and while you're there, consider subscribing to my channel, where I post every week. Also, consider giving some feedback about this video, as it's my second video on the category of aviation news. Other than that, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you all had a great holiday season and enjoy this brand new year. So until next time, fly safe.